How does the brain process and interpret sensory information? The brain is responsible for processing and interpreting sensory information from our environment. This complex process involves multiple regions and pathways within the brain working together to make sense of the incoming sensory signals. Let's delve into the step-by-step -step process of how the brain processes and interprets sensory information. 1. Sensory Receptors Sensory information begins with specialized cells called sensory receptors located in various parts of the body, such as the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. These receptors are designed to detect specific types of stimuli, such as light, sound, odor, taste, and touch. 2. Sensory Transduction when a sensory receptor is stimulated by a specific sensory input, it undergoes a process called sensory transduction. During transduction, the receptor converts the physical stimulus into an electrical signal, known as an action potential. This electrical signal carries the sensory information to the brain. 3. Sensory pathways The action potentials generated by the sensory receptors travel through specific neural pathways towards the brain. Each sensory modality has its own dedicated pathway. For example, visual information travels through the optic nerve, auditory information through the auditory nerve, and so on. 4. Thalamus Upon reaching the brain, the sensory information first passes through a structure called the thalamus. The thalamus acts as a relay station, sorting and filtering the incoming sensory signals before forwarding them to the appropriate areas of the cerebral cortex, which is the outer layer of the brain responsible for higher level processing. 5. Primary Sensory Cortex The sensory information then reaches the primary sensory cortex, which is located in different regions of the cerebral cortex depending on the sensory modality. For example, visual information is processed in the occipital lobe, auditory information in the temporal lobe, and so on. 6. Sensory Processing Within the primary sensory cortex, the incoming sensory signals are analyzed and processed. This involves the extraction of specific features and characteristics of the sensory input. For instance, in the visual system, the brain processes information like color, shape, motion, and depth. 7. Association areas After initial processing in the primary sensory cortex, the sensory information is passed on to higher level association areas of the cerebral cortex. These areas integrate the sensory information with other relevant information from memory, emotions, and cognition to give it context and meaning. This integration allows us to recognize and interpret the sensory input. 8. Perception and Conscious Awareness The final stage of sensory processing involves the generation of perception and conscious awareness. Perception is the subjective experience of sensory information, where the brain constructs a mental representation of the external world based on the processed sensory input. This is what allows us to see, 
hear, smell, taste, and feel the world around us. It's important to note that this is a simplified overview of the process. And the actual mechanisms involved in sensory processing are much more intricate and involve numerous brain structures and networks. Nonetheless, this provides a general understanding of how the brain processes and interprets sensory information. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.